Welcome back to NBA Cinema. So Anthony Edwards has been under fire over the last few days saying that Michael Jordan was the only player skilled during his era. So that would put from 1984 in the NBA all the way to like 2003, 2004, 2000. I can't remember, 2005 when he retired from the Wizards that last time. You know, saying pretty much Jordan was the only guy despite, you know, Kobe playing some in that era. Um at the end of that era, Tim Duncan, but even before that, Magic Bird, who ran the league when Jordan came into the league, it came Elijah Wan, Patrick Ewan, David Robinson. I could go on and on, like, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. I ain't even mentioned Gary Payton, Tim Hardaway. Uh, the list goes on and on. I would be here literally naming all night Mitch Richmond, so you'll know it's real. Uh, will, would Anthony Edwards get the best of Miss R Mitch Richmond? I don't think so you know not at this point you know what i'm saying it so i want him to go back and, and study some film on some of these guys because it's a little disrespectful to the game now he did preface it and say he didn't watch the games but um it's very disrespectful like if mj would have came in talking about david thompson dr j like that it wouldn't have been well received either. So this isn't the pick on Ant Man. This is just paying it forward, you know, and um, you know how those guys paid it forward. You can at least in return show the gratitude for them elevating the game, where you're able to get the endorsement deals. They're looking at you, hoping you the next Jordan, hoping you the next Kobe. Because if you think KD is better than some of those guys I just named, you're sadly mistaken. You know what I'm saying? KD is an all time great. But he's calling KD a GOAT, and KD has GOAT ability, but he is not as good, nowhere near as good as like a Michael Jordan or like that. You know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't put him above Hakeem Olajuwon, you know, winning titles in your own, with your own team, and also winning, you know, in Houston, in college, and winning uh, Houston in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to listen to Kevin Garnett and his thoughts about this. Let's check out what he had to say. KG Cook, let's listen. Lord, <laughs> you ain't going back watching the games, Lord. <laughs> if I'm being honest, bro, I don't think anybody in this generation could have played like 20 years ago. If I'm being 100, and this is to Ant, this is to everybody in our league, Tatum, all y'all. Let me tell y'all something, bro. 20 years ago, bro, you couldn't get to a triple step back. Nah. You hear what I'm saying to you? You couldn't get to a triple step back. And then if you shot that shit, it had to go in. You know why? Because we had, we had efficiency back in the day, my dude. And it was so fucking hard. It was too physical. And guess what? The league had to come off of it for the flow of movement to be able to have scoring go up, which is why we like to sit here and watch kind of the rat race of the high pace game, right? But, bro, let's not talk about the gamingship and let's not talk about the physicality of the game back then. Real shit, because I only think half these kids in the league could have been on an NBA team 20 years ago. Straight up. The locker room was too, it was, it was, it was too grown. You know what I watched too? It you know what too I watched? It was too grown. It was too, it was too of a, it was too much of a, of a fraternity. You understand? Like, yeah, man. Just like the it, hand check. How, how? No, bro, it was a different, it was a different, it was a different um, vibration. David Stern did a great job of taking all of the physicality out of the game. You understand? Freedom of movement means freedom of movement. Man, back in the day when you had to get by Paul because Paul was squared up with you and ready to slide, and then he could body you, he could poke, he could use his hands, but I can use my hands. I can fight through a screen. Bro, the shit that we saw in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, um, in the Olympics, was similar style play when the guard can ride you damn near over the pink. Yeah. And, and if you don't know how to get out of that, and, and a nigga like uh, uh, Holiday, when he come out and he get over, he there. Right. So if you're going to cross him, bro, you don't even, that's what I'm saying, bro. Man, the, 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 um, the levels in which you had to be not only strong enough, but skilled enough to get by this nigga in front of you. You understand? And then they ain't never seen a six, seven Rodman Guard you? Bro, I see you. I see you. And you know, you're in the scout report. We know you go left. We know you can finish right, but you go left to pull up. Bro, everybody knows. Bro, niggas watching the games back then. Them, the Isaiah Thomas and the Dumas, man. Dumas shut Jordan down. Bro, they was coming they was to the a, lane. Think, bro, you I might get your nose broke trying to dunk. 
You understand? Dwayne Wade broke Cole's nose in the All-Star game. Man, bro, it was just different. It was, it was very different back then, bro. Real shit. I'm talking about in the locker room. You can't be on your phone in the locker room. You can't. Bro, 20 years ago? Nah, nobody in this era could have played 25 years ago. We said that. And I'm talking about not just the play and all the skill that everybody got. Ashley was taught what's called bad shots and lack of efficiency. It was until they start fucking with all the data and saying take more threes than twos. Before then, we played ball, bro. We didn't give a fuck about all that other shit. And the GM couldn't come down and say put into a game plan with a coach like Doc or Dan Tony. Talking about we trying to get touches and test the paint. Bro, we, I, I, I didn't see. Yeah, it's hard to we, say we, more we, skill. That's what I'm trying to say. Nobody bro, in could, this era has a mid range. Bro, you couldn't get no nobody. Nobody in this era has a post game. And the ones that do <laughs> look amazing. Right. Look at yeah. Shea. Shea got a mid range. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's only like a few of them got. That's what like, I'm saying, bro. Two dribble pull up. Yeah, they don't try to do. Okay, young fella, if you hear me, and then y'all exhaust the ball. Y'all are dribbling the air out of the ball. Right. Y'all dribble the ball a hundred times more than another nigga. Right. Catch it off the bounce. One dribble, two dribble, pull right. up. Let me see you do that off the bounce. Right. Let me see your skill work off that. I ain't even known it like this, but, but you can't come from niggas and not expect the rebuttal on shit. Bro, real shit, it was totally different. And you had to have that work, and you had yeah. to really work on your shit. And it wasn't no, you was out two, three games. Man, your teammates, hey, bro, what you doing tonight? You going? Nah, I can't go, man. My toenail off, man. I can't. Nah, bro, you can't nah. even come in here and lead no niggas nah. like that. You hear nah, me? Nah. So you had to strap it up and you had to get out here. You had to dive on the floor. You had to get in the rumble. Yeah. Right, right. Real shit. Right. You had, man, it was men leading men. Yeah, ain't none of these niggas been in no lockout. And Anthony Edwards don't know what's going on with the lead policy. This, bro, you understand what I'm talking about? The leader, bro. Man, I, I yeah, can't bro, even have this conversation. You can't say this. You can't even same. say it if it you ain't watch. It, it ain't the same. It ain't the same. Like, then don't you say, say I that, didn't watch. And that, don't say you didn't I watch. I mean, Jordan, the only one has skill. You, all right, all yeah, right. I know yeah. you didn't watch the game. I know you but didn't watch. But him saying that. Yeah, so, you can't say you know that. Respect say you to the watch. young fella, man. I don't get on here, and we don't use this platform to, to douse anything, but I'm not going to start yeah, the cooning. Gotta, I'm here to elevate the game. I'm here to help the young players elevate themselves. But yeah, it's always different eras. And when you hear Michael Jordan and some of the greats talk about the different eras of play, the, the 80s were different from the 70s, the 70s were different from the 60s, the 60s was different from the 50s. But in all of it, it had gamership, it had aggressiveness, and it had stuff that came with it that you didn't really hear about that you hear now. Man, shit. Yeah. Shh. Half these motherfuckers can't even be in the locker room. Half these niggas coming from Straight no parents and, and, and one mom and all, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas got their mom and dad and a lot of these niggas ain't even outside, my nigga. <laughs> Man, I'm really from the park, man. I'm, I'm really, I'm really am from Basswood. I really did play at Springfield <laughs> park, park. You know right. what I'm saying? Cleveland Park, all the parks. Right. I really was at Argyle. Right. I really was on 16th. I really was hanging out on Ridgeway. Like, I'm, I'm saying that to say that, yeah. Like, man, it, it was different times. So when I hear these things, they, they don't add up because it was a different time in how you played, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then there was a lot of two-way players back then that was real niggas. I'm talking about stars. I'm talking about Gary Payton, the, J the Jason Kidd's, the, the Michael Jordan's, the Grand Hills, the, 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 the McGrady's and the Cobes, the, you know what I'm saying? The TDs, the C Webs, the, the, the Rashids, the. He must have been talking about like the 60s or nah, something. He, nah, Lord, he's feeling himself, and I like that. I like that he feels good, but when you're a savant and you're talking to the league and you're spitting st different shit, nah, you gotta know what you're talking about. Right. To be in the argument or to be in the discussion of what we're right. talking about. Right. But to say that they're most skilled, shit. 20 years, you couldn't get to a triple step back. All that shit, James Harden and all that shit. And then, too, if you was driven the air of the ball, bro, nigga told you straight up. Hey, right, man, man. Come on, man. What Swing it, man. What, what you doing? doing? What you doing? Come Five on, more dribbles? You out here? Hold on, I got hey, it. Man, back don't it up. Miss, what? Don't miss. And then don't we miss. had plays right. that you had to remember. And if you could, and if you can't remember the plays, you couldn't be out here. It wasn't all this switching shit. You had actually strategy to where the strategy had to go to two, five, uh, two and four, y'all three and four, y'all doing this. Yeah, man, you had yeah. to, man, you had a list of shit that you had to be responsible yeah, for. for. That. Not some, oh, I didn't forget. And you know what? Fuck it. Just throw him out there because he's good. Nah, bro. It was a whole nother level of shit. So, you know, right. know what you're speaking about. But yeah, I'll root for you, young fella. Just know what you're talking about, young fella. Because that you said don't make no sense. And it's kind of strange to see Ant-Man arrive here but some of the things he's been saying lately is getting to, you remember when the Memphis Grizzlies was talking too much before they had done anything? And Edward, some of his comments is starting to get past what he's actually accomplished in the league. He's exciting and people started calling him 80, 
85, 86 Jordan or something like that. I can't remember what year they was comparing them to, but uh seems like some of that has gotten to his head, and now he's saying crazy things like this. Um, it's no need to talk about the era. I understand this was sort of a reaction to everybody saying that this era is softer, but it is, and it's not a personal thing. It's not a personal thing. Somebody like LeBron has kind of played through all these eras, and that's what makes him a, a very special player because he played through um, the tough era, going against those Detroit Pistons and all that. So LeBron actually played against those guys, and he's playing now in the softer era. But when we talk about the physicality of the game, I mean, you can't have your progress impeded because players used to – could put two hands on you and really like stall your movement, you know, and, and really just be grabbing you. And they do it a little bit now, but you got to be a little more discreet. Obviously they grab Jersey and, and that's the way they try to get away with it now on the picks and different stuff like that. But you could just straight up hack, you know, those Ruben Patterson's and all those type of players, man, they used to really foul <laughs> Kobe Bryant and those guys, you know, and, and make it really difficult for them. Uh, and, man, we kind of saw how you looked against Derrick Jones Jr., you know. And if you don't think Michael Jordan would have ate Derrick Jones Jr. lunch, um, I don't know what to tell you. You know, we, we kind of saw what the Mavs did to you. And that's just Derrick Lively and – um, what's my man name? Uh, Daniel Gaffer, who are they're decent rim protectors. I ain't taking nothing away from them, but that ain't the dream. That ain't Ewan before his knees went bad back there. That's not, um, uh, and, and this is another thing a lot of the power forts was big as those centers. You know, somebody like Otis Thorpe, that was a power fort back then. He would play center today, you know, because he played beside the King Olajuwon. Um, Mark Eaton, somebody like that, blocking shots at the rim. <laughs> what do you have? He averaged five point three blocks per game, and so. And, and I'm not saying Mark Eaton was an all time great center, but that he was something to try to finish over. You know, back in the day, Mark Eaton. You had psh, David Robinson. Don't get me started on him. You know, don't get me started on him. And for everybody to think Jokic is all that, Jokic is really good. Love him as a player. Arvita Sabonis, he wasn't able to come over here in his prime, and so most of the people only saw Portland. But before his knees went, imagine everything Jokic can do, literally. I Everything Jokic can do, but probably pass even better with that left hand, too. You know, he, like he could pass with his right, obviously his dominant hand, but he could do everything with both hands. Bigger, seven foot three, more athletic. So I'm just saying that to say, you know, that – the, the players, man, you start talking about the skill? I don't know. I don't know. And, and another thing um, that KG said, just talking about how it is in the locker room. You know, some ant talking like he talked in the media, that would have been, if he had the right veteran on his team from back in the day, you always hear Barkley talk about how Moses Malone roughed him up and got him to get in shape, getting in his face. You can't say certain things. Uh, Magic, obviously, Kareem calling him out on certain things when he first came in. That's just how it was in the NBA. It ain't, oh, I'm the guy, and so everybody's just going to kind of cater to me. No, you had to earn your stripes and earn the trust of your team, and you got coach back then. Uh, you got coach. You can't speak out of turn. You know, you, you kind of got to – Represent the team every time you get out there on the floor uh, and in the post-game interviews, you know. Um, but, yeah, man, Anthony Edwards has been saying a lot about this era, and I think it's just defensive to what people have been saying about his era. He feels some sort of way. So um, I want to know what you guys think. Do you agree with Ant-Man, or do you agree with everything Ticket just said? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to next time. Peace.